Channeling for today. Okay, so I'm going to take you through the process and then we'll see what we've got. So first of all, I imagine a waterfall flowing because I love waterfall and it's my energy source. I imagine that flowing through my body, going through my feet into the ground. And then I ask for the balance of the ground because nature is the best balancer. And imagine that balancing energy come through my body and cleanse and clear my body. Then I take that through my head, joining with either unconditional love flowing through my head or uh, the waterfall. Then I imagine it going into the aura and cleansing all the problems, all the fears, all the ideas that's come from my mind today that is not helping me on my journey. So we cleanse that. Then I put a waterfall around the whole lot so I'm not going to absorb negativity today. But today I'm going to try something new. In one of my videos um, I have what we call opening the door to enlightenment. So I want to make sure my body is in the alignment to be able to channel the information. This is new sorts of information that's coming through. So I really have not got a clue what we will get today. But anyway, this is part of it. When we just do things, we tend to find we're guided how to do things. And that is what's been part of channeling. All right then, so my last port of call is to cut my emotional ties to the future, cut my emotional ties to the past, get into the moment for clarity. And then I want to feel the energy, so uh, which is a human experience. So I imagine joy and happiness and health and wealth all flowing through my body for the connection. And then I love myself, I love myself 10 times. I am peace, I am peace 10 times, which makes me love and makes me peace, vibrating. And then I ask, for the door to be opened and I walk through. Now inside all of us is this energy source that's part of everything. So then when we walk through the door, we're part of everyone. And so sometimes I put out thoughts and ideas that I might want to, to share with the world or learn about. But today I'm just going to go with the flow and see what information they have for me today. It's quite weird really because my eyes make my other one um, very blurred all of a sudden. So there's something that I'm not seeing at the moment. These are all signs and information that come through. And so I don't even know if I'm in line with the screen or whatever. But anyway, that's part of the journey. Okay. So I've just received a download. Uh, this is a new thing for me. They, they, they're telling me that everybody is perfect how they are even with your insecurities and your fears and your doubts and your worries they make you who you are and they for a reason a vibration that you have created and you have created this vibration to learn so that you can be in a position to help others and help yourself enlightenment is about knowing or understanding that everything is part of the journey so when we learn to unconditional love it is then that we truly see the part that everybody plays, the beauty in all. There are certain things they're telling me that helps us to align with enlightenment, like enjoying yourself, like creating, like being compassionate. By helping others, you learn that all of a sudden you start to link in with the connection to gain more insight into helping yourself and others. In every person you meet is a message for you, but also a learning experience. So when you ask yourself or your soul, what was the learning experience, then you have answers and suddenly the world seems different. Even those who try to fight with you because they're so wrapped up in their own pain or so wrapped up in their own way of doing things in control that you have ignited them to look a different way. They don't want to do this because it takes them away of feeling in control. It makes them have to look outside the box. And they don't want this. Now, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that they're in a moment and not free themselves from the pain. And so they're embroiled in it. And they're attracting more of it. And they're attracting more situations of injustice to make them feel that they're not in control. 
So we here send unconditional love in the hope that they connect once more to their souls. This is a simple trick but a very effective. It also stops you from being triggered and then getting into your own injustice as you absorb their energies. Many people around you, you are absorbing their energies and that's why we attract certain people to learn from. But it doesn't mean that we have to attach to their energies. It doesn't mean we have to take on their energies and not rid it. So if you can stay in this unconditional love, then all of a sudden the world changes for you in your mindset, in your connection in the body. Because the body wants love to neutralize the negativity. The mind is wants peace in the body. It gets that from the soul. So when we connect or we become the peace and the love, then we are then aligned in the mind, body and soul. And then the enlightenment is teaching us that we were never disconnected, only through thoughts and ideas, which were giving us the experience to learn and so to learn not to separate. Everything at the moment is, is showing people. The angels are stepping forward and are saying that they, so many of you are praying for change, for money, for all these things. And it's actually an angel is assigned to every person that is asking a prayer. And they're run out of earth angels to help out because everybody's stuck in their senses. Everybody's stuck with their chakras. Everybody is so connected to searching for stuff that they're taking themselves away from being in the energy that is able to tap into the wisdom and the automatic flow. And when we have the automatic flow, things get sorted for you, problems get solved, your body flows, you breathe right. All these things are from a stress of the body that's causing all these anxieties and fears and focusing on stuff that is not who we are. We are energy with a body. The body gives us the opportunity to experience and to enjoy and to give what part we have come here to play. And even that, the spiritual path, the spiritual journey, is also a thought process as well. Because really, just by being the energy is all we have to do. Because then we automatically connect and we automatically share. And then the oneness can be shown. This is what they show me, a lot of the oneness. So many people are coming out with so much stuff that I'm not saying it's wrong because it's still part of the journey. But what I'm saying to you is it's distracting them from who they really are, their energies, who they want to be, you know. And it's not about being spiritual and not being spiritual because every part of it is, is part of the, the journey for all. But you've got to understand you have your own journey. All right. Many people are worried. Come on, you need to give me some more information. They're telling me at this time the information is not needed because people are not awakened enough to be able to receive it. Because people are so focused on what's not making them happy that how can you make somebody happy who's focused on not being happy? So nature, uh, loving things, enjoying things, meeting people are all being taken away from us at the moment and they were our automatic way of releasing the energies and this is why we're all struggling. Even myself at times is getting caught up in in, in blaming and shaming and, and the injustice of the world because I know deep down these people are lying but at the same time who's to say that the angels haven't created some of this because I do notice that when some people are talking um, there's certain words that they're saying are not themselves. It's the angels passing messages on. Look out for that when you listen. And they, they, they share with you information that they shouldn't do to waken you up, to make you see the truth. Don't hate them for it, because there's always a reason why. And the, because we are hating, because we are fighting, we're only feeding. We're only giving them what they want or they need to divide and conquer us. It is time for us to all to come together. It's time for us to, to understand that this moment in time, we're able to go within, find ourselves, love ourselves, enjoy ourselves, find what we truly want from life. And then that's reflected to the world and reflected back to us. So it's time to stop looking outside the body, stop trying to make the body what it is. Seven times, I've made my, my body perfect. 
and yet for whatever reason snapped Achilles sleeping disorders I've returned back to this energy the more I get energy based the more I'm absorbing the negativity and for some reason it doesn't just flow through me and so that is a lesson for me to learn and so if you are not happy with who you are then just know that some of it might not even be your energy some of it might be a program to learn from or a lesson to learn from and so even if you think that you should be thin or you should be a different person or whatever then you're coming from a place of lack you're coming from a place of like so for example if you want to be rich you're claiming to be poor already and so you're in the vibration of poor and so to get rich you need to be in the alignment of rich but we know as our body and our knowledge that being rich doesn't make us happy or doesn't make us content it restricts our so when you understand this and start to change your format then you understand that you are the ocean and that by searching to be rich you're becoming a, a, a individual water or a droplet of water and so you're limiting your chance but there's nothing wrong with being wealthy it's just energy but a lot of people are struggling with that because we've all been caught up in the illusional world of this is what we all want to be I just want to be happy and content and at a place where I can enjoy nature and I can enjoy people and I can share the odd bits of information that I get but when I go back to the real world the illusion and everything it also sets me off and that's why I don't enjoy and that's maybe why I've become quite a hermit lately um, all my old stuff um, I'm going to be giving away soon so look out for that because I think I should start just just doing the channeling at the moment because it's the one part of me that, that I enjoy doing and I get satisfaction and, and feel good about and I think everybody has to find what they enjoy in life and do more of it instead of working out what we don't enjoy okay back to the channeling see how I sometimes swap in from the channeling to to my own personal self well because it triggers everything around you triggers and that's what you got to understand but we don't need to attach to it you are loved you are supported until you think you're not your vibration creates your reality or creates your experience is more the case because you might be experiencing the lesson through other people as well and so positivity and negativity is just balance it is good to enjoy life it is good to be positive but don't make that your focus because to be positive you come from a place of lack you come from a place that's not positive and so you're vibrating that so what is that going to be reflected to you what you're vibrating and it's totally the opposite and it this sometimes it takes me a while to get back into that flow and understand that there's a lot of spirit world around me at the moment and they're saying to me that they are supporting and loving but people are not accepting their information just follow your heart because that's closest to the wisdom and closest to heaven and you'll feel and you feel a good memory you know that your loved ones around you and they love you loads they're never lost because if you don't experience them in this life you'll experience them in the next life or you'll experience them again in heaven so for all those who've lost and there's a lot of people disappeared and i would like to say um to a lot of my dad's friends and and friends that i have lost we love you all and we'll see you soon because we never lose them in our hearts it's only our emotional self that stops us feeling it sometimes so i know that life is tough at the moment and I know that we've got to try and change the way. So oneness is the cure. And that is a, a sort of a saying that um, is really human form. But it is. When we get into oneness, we see the enlightenment world. We see a different world. We become part of everybody. And then 
we're not selfish, we're not so self-centered, which is not a wrong thing to do because in survival, we have to be to survive. But we are missing out on the messages. We're missing out on the guidance. We're missing out on the help because we're isolating ourselves to ourselves. You can still be part of the oneness if you go within. If you go searching within, you will find that there's a neutral energy that's part of everything and it's what you put to it. So that's why I always say to work from the heart. Learn to love all parts of you. I love myself being fat because I can generate a lot of energy to do a lot of healing. Yes, when I get back to the real world, I would like to be thin again. I've done it seven times. I've got back to being healthy and everything. And then something changes and I recreate. I know that going looking through and, and checking, it was a program that I had that I needed to learn. And sometimes you can only learn it by being what it is that needs to teach you. So I understand that. It's like when I snapped my Achilles, um, it stopped me from an area of my life. When I got an injury on my back, it stopped me being a professional footballer. But I created that because it wasn't what I loved playing, but it wasn't my dream. I loved helping people. And that's what I've been able to do, and luckily, and share in that experience. And it's now time to share with myself, and hopefully some of this channeling will do. I hope it helps some people, this, this channeling, and some people might not get some of the things that I do say because it is channeled. And I just say to you to ask questions, and I will try and share. But don't fight me, because I'm not here to prove wrong or to prove to you that I... I know what I'm saying because that's not my journey. My journey is to plant seeds of hope. Whether you want to feed and nourish it is up to you. And that's all I'm here for. So good luck on your journey. If you need any help, I've got thousands of videos that I put up. And please, any videos you or any information that you would like me to channel through, I shall try for you. Because we all need help on the journey. And we all need somebody who can share an experience so we can learn. Thank you. Help me by spreading love. Sign up. Share my videos. So we all can experience the oneness and enlightenment.